was all. That was. This is two guitars for twenty. Two guitars for twenty quid. <laughs> but I think one of the things I seem to come across is projects that other people have started. Yes, and yes, given I, up I, on. I totally. Oh yeah, totally. No, I totally get that. Yeah. And this was this was sold to me as an encore, but that's quite poor. There's I don't know. I I've seen them before with um, the, the hole the right way right way through it. Yeah, so it's because it's so. It, is it, it doesn't look like a thin body, but mm. I just basically they've routed the back bit yeah. slightly too much, and it just it's like I've had ones before where you can actually mm. it's so thin you can literally just stick your finger through it and yeah. it just goes. <laughs> and it also had a terrible finish, which makes me think that it wasn't an encore. Yeah. So I painted it black, and I thought it might be a bit smoother. Painted it black, painted it black, painted it black, painted it black. <laughs> Still not looking good. What would Gibson do? Paint it gold. Paint it gold. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's an interest. It looks, it looks intentional. Yeah, but it wasn't. No, no. It's a, the way you're describing it, I can tell it wasn't. But I mean, so uh, all the the black paint had not cured, and the gold paint cracked. But I think that looks like something from like 1957. Yes, it does. Kind of. thing. gives it away is the black, yeah. it, which makes it look new. But if it, but also so. the scratch plate is. I don't know what this is off of. Uh, an elevation, I think. Which had rusty, so it looks like it's got rusty screws in it, but it's not the brand new black screws. But it's just I've left the rusty from the. <laughs> yes. Uh, so it's, it's there you are. There, that's relicking for a tenor. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> did you manage to get to play? It's not too bad. Oh right, that neck was really bad. So that's that's why I want to put it back together as an encore. If you actually yeah. see the nut is not straight. That's that. That's uh, something I've not actually seen before. That, yeah. that is gen genuinely. Mm -hmm. It's like you look there. I was, I was thinking it's just that line there that's been cut wrong, but no, yeah. it's actually you can definitely see yeah. it's definitely different. That's a different distance from. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's, that's so interesting. That's please, but also the, I had to put I think two and a half full turns into that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if <laughs> that's far from normal. Well, so the back the, the back bow was because I put it on and went. There's something very wrong with this. It was, it was a back bow? Yeah. So you, you undid it two and a half yeah. times? Wow. Is that somebody... I don't... Uh, so, but I think that was, that was just one of these things that you... So, you, you start, I think it's not... It can ha It shouldn't happen as much now as it used to. Mm -hmm. Because back when I started messing... You didn't, yeah. there, wasn't a, there wasn't YouTube to look up folk who fixed guitars. Mm -hmm. So you'd sit there and try and fix things and yeah. by whichever way you thought was there. But I mean, all, all the things that are adjustable are adjustable for a reason. Mm -hmm. And things like the trust rods, I mean... Yeah. There's a fear of truss rods. There's also a people about which I understand will fear about taking necks off guitars. I see. I have a fear of doing set neck guitars on the truss rod, just because I know if I if I if I screw up with Understood. a bolt on, I can get another neck. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And also, again, it's the thing of you're you're sitting working with guitars you picked up for under fifty quid. Mm. So if you did smash it, well, oh yeah. well, it's not the end of the world. And you start going, you know, you snap your guitars, you go, mm -hmm. well, it's still got pickups and a bridge and if you like, listed yeah. them all separately, you'd get most of your money back. So, yeah. it's when you're sitting there and it's like, it's like the expensive guitar, you know, if it's a, a £500 yeah. guitar and you've just left it. Yeah. Just, uh, trying to think of what else. There was something else into it. No, I think it's just, I think it was just the back bow and the, the hole through it was the interesting part yeah. of that. I, I suppose it doesn't really need it, but, yeah, but, yeah, the, the, that's got car paint, that matte car paint on yes, the back. Yes, yes. Oh, that, that didn't go well. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But, oh, well, this is, the, again, the thing that became the buckle. Did, did you sell that? Or, or it's, that? In, it's in the Blitzkrieg shop, actually. If, I put, I put if, if you buy it, it's indestructible, because there is more paint on that guitar than has ever been on any other guitar. Right, yeah, so, I, and I didn't take the old paint off, because <laughs> no. I, I decided to go for the super cracked finish yeah because it was gold it was, it was probably this exact same gold paint it was the same so paint. it's actually bucky green oh, with no. gold and below it and then cracks so the cracks there are was gold. that gold paint there's another gold paint this is what i was that's not, one of my notes would say like the smell of paint if it smells like nail varnish you're okay right that's a, that's new to me right i don't I, really know well, what nail is, varnish that, smells that, like i don't wear this it is my well because i'm a man right you know, poly paint yeah always smells much the same uh as I say, the thing that became the thing that became the buckle was black painted over a sunburst guitar. Right. And I think I tried to paint it black again. I thought that looks horrible. Right. And then I painted it gold. Right. And then I thought, you know, it'd be fun to put some glitter on it. Right. Lacquer. Yeah. And I thought that just looks too lumpy. I'll buy gold glitter paint. <laughs> gold glitter paint just made it bubble up, and then eventually white paint. So. Right. If you, if you buy it and you drop it, it'll bounce. 
Yes, yes, so definitely. It's just, it's just like a hollow body. Yeah. Maybe if you leave it long enough, you maybe you'd submerge it and then you could get all the all the wood inside to rot away. Yeah. So it would just be like a hollow shell. Yeah. That'd be an interesting sound. Yeah. I can't remember. I, I, I put, I put uh, I piccolo strings on it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's actually quite an interesting thing. Yeah. I need to make myself a piccolo bass. It was fun. You've got a double eight string, don't you? Are you an eight string or twelve string or something? I've got an eight string, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just thinking yeah. they're pickle of bass. I've got a pickle of bass. Yeah. Or maybe just, I don't know. Yeah. Why well, you that little thing with the no, rubber right. strings? Yes, the U bass. That was yeah. the one where there's a pair of pickups in that. That was fun. Yeah. It's like, so how, how, do, you, how, yeah. do, how do magnetic pickups pick up rubber strings? Yeah. No, not at all. Obviously, yeah. there's no metal in them to make a magnetic field. So I had to put pieces yeah. in it. Yeah. What did I do? What's that one there? The one that says the enter body. Uh, this is quite light. I it's, it's I, good see. Fun. I did have an idea for this, uh, but I think I, I think I mentioned that the the price of parts now is, I mean, for you, it's worthwhile because it's a business. Yeah. But for like the people like me as the dabblers, it's not really worth it anymore because the parts cost. Well, it's not. Yes. What used to be three ninety nine is now. Three ninety nine free shipping is now eight ninety nine. Yes, shipping, yes, so. I've, I've, I've noticed that very so. much. We arrived from China. Yeah, it's like, Brexit. Yes, that was a great <laughs> idea. We're all doing really well with that. Brilliant. Yeah, but my my, my idea for this was to get all was it put a piezo in it and have the actual controls in the back, so it was just empty. So it was just an empty. Right, uh, thing has got that. Um, oh right, Paul, Paul. Oh, it's been done before then. <laughs> and it's been done by Paul Simon. Right, he's got a strat that's just like it just doesn't have a scratch plate. And there's no pickups on it, or, so I assume that's what it must be. See, I was going to put a clear scratch plate on it, but right. even that's like twelve quid now. So I know. No, I, I did. I did notice the bits are not cheap anymore. Yeah. It used to be. I was saying they buying SG knobs. I think mm -hmm. I paid ninety nine p for the four on yeah. my Gibson SG, and it's like they're not. Yeah. No. Anyway, you you you're now. It used to be a case of looking up, you know, like Black Dog. Yeah. Music supplies on eBay, right? Yeah, you know, the, the ones that are in Britain somewhere, yeah. and they were like, you'd look at them and go, Oh, that's quite good. Like, now, now, where can I find it in China? Yeah, and I would spend you know two hours saving yeah. 50 pence, well, time well spent. <laughs> but uh, you just even those wee stupid switches, I used to buy, be able to buy those, you know, the wee toggle switches, I used yeah. to be able to get them for I was buying them in packs of 20 for yeah. like two pounds 50 or something like that. Some pure stupid, and now they're three pounds oh. each. You're like, What did my back wall? Well, well. And I can't find on 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 switches I've anywhere. Got a couple of packets in there. Uh. <laughs> No, they're, they're just like, these things are, it was so worthwhile buying them yeah well, but now well, you're just like no uh, well I think that's I think I emailed you about that and it's like what used to cost 30 quid to do mm. the guitar now costs 80 quid to do yes so you like, it's not, no no I mean, that's why I, I never throw anything out yeah but basically all the bucky casters very rarely do they get new parts yeah it's just that I'm that cheap I never take I've got mm. like, I've got I don't know maybe about 50 different types of tuner I don't have any sets of them, but I've got like I've got one or two of I've just about everything. So I never throw anything out, and it's like even I did, I just washers and bolts and screws and stuff. I've got a big bucket. I just twice this has happened to me. I've bought six R tuners, right, and it's been three L, three R, and they they reimbursed me half the money and sent me and sent me another three tuners, right. which were different sizes, yes. or, or the buttons were different sizes. And yes. I thought, that actually looks quite cool. <laughs> I did that my uh, you know my wee shocking bird guitar the one that's yes. like a Telecaster oh yeah uh, that I bought I had tuners for that they were black DSI mm -hmm. tuners I'd had them in my box for six months yeah. or something like that I put them on da, 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 and one of them had a tuner button that size mm -hmm. and the other ones were all big you know, like, there was a this is a total aside I, I, was, I saw a video came up uh, and it was Moor Drummer was yes it? right have you seen that I've got one have you that's the drum machine I've got have you seen the recent advert for it? No. Because it's a Telecaster with a point. The guy's playing a Telecaster with a pointy. Really? Yeah. It, it's not as pronounced as your right. shocking bird, but it's like, I've looked at it. There, there's now. a guitar called a First Act. Right. Which that might be, which kind of looks sort of like it. I haven't right. seen it, but I, I drew around a Tele and drew around my Mockingbird. Yes. Yeah. But I had, had to do that. Um, yeah, no. So, no, I, I just no the Moore Drummer pedals the pedal I use. All right. Which are, cool. people keep asking about is that, oh, is it really good? Is that, yeah, it's really good, but it's so expensive. Right. I picked it up for like 30 quid, so I thought that's a good idea. And then right. now, you look for them, they're, they're like £100 new and £80 right. second hand. Like, I, I was just, I didn't know what it was <laughs> in the bag. I just wanted a, I wanted a drum machine, but I wanted it basically, I didn't want a drum machine. 
I just wanted more than just a click track. Mm -hmm. So basically, all the Moore drummer is is like a it's like a click track that I think sits like little drums. I think it's one of the really interesting things about Berenger sure, as soon as they discontinue a pedal, it gets really expensive. You're yeah. like, well, well, why don't you buy the original if you? <laughs> the Berenger pedals are funny though. I've, 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 I got I got the 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 multi effect one. I've got and, that, and I got it for fifteen quid. I got it fifteen quid with a power supply uh, from a cash uh, generators, and I was like, oh, I wonder. If some they try to sell it for sixty odd. Then you go like, are they? What? He's like, but you can buy a proper multi effect floor uh, unit for that. Yeah, so, I paid a fiver for mine. Yeah. So I got a power supply up here. You know, you go and buy that off me. And I was like, I don't really want it. A fiver. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm actually thinking, uh, do you have any broken pedals that don't work at all? No. No, because I'm, I'm going to my <laughs> door, doorbell's broken, and I'm going to. I've seen. I have seen it somewhere else. I'm going to use a distortion pedal. A broken distortion pedal as a doorbell <laughs> from a house. So you go. I wonder if this is my. Yeah. <laughs> just, just the actual switch on it. But I, I, I'm looking. I've got some crap pedals. I just like, I don't want to use one that works. But I want you know like the housing, like a Boss pedal or something would be quite cool, or a Behringer one. And that's what I keep thinking about with that because it's going to it's going to cost me a fiver for a doorbell pedal. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking all that that multi effects thing, sticking it in a guitar. Nostalgia for you guys. Mac ones. <laughs> See, well, I, I bought this and I, I, thought, I saw it and when Matt was were closing down I thought oh that'll be good because I've got a foot pedal which is now on it's third switch right. I thought that'll be good but it's not it's a momentary it's a momentary one that's it it's a, it's a, so, uh, it's a kill switch <laughs> do you want that for your doorbell <laughs> I, want, I, want, I, want, I want the actual distortion pedal right. I don't want the switch I want it to be <laughs> yeah no, I, I went into what was I buying it was it was so my pal wanted a strangle switch. This would be about two or three years uh, ago. Before I, what a strangle switch? You know the one that kind of a Jaguar. Oh, no, see, I, 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 it's I, a high high pass filter, right? Which is basically just a different value of capacitor. Oh, right. But instead of running it, you know, you run a, a for a tone control, right. you run it to earth, right? And then you run the signal to it, right? On this, you run it through. If you run right. the signal through the cap. Right. It takes the high, the low end away instead of taking the high end away. Ooh, so I've been doing it with a couple of, a couple of the Bucky Cats. Oh, right, so it's just like filtering. It's a high pass oh, filter yeah. and a low oh, pass filter. The tone control is a low pass filter. And then see, get I, high. Yeah. I don't know much about Jaggers or Jazz Masters. Or anything. It's, it's another switch. They call it the strangle switch because yeah. basically it's just like taking away all the bass and making it mm -hmm. sound like you're playing through the end of a phone line. Right. And, that, and yeah. I walked into Maplin's in Paisley and I was walking up to the back and the guy was standing and he was like, up here, capacitors! <laughs> I was like, girl, well, how did you know it's that? It's always capacitors. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's what anyone ever went to. Is that everyone who ever yeah. goes out to map to look at the electric specs are always <laughs> looking for capacitors. But they're not, they're not well, I've, got, I've got a load of stuff with map ones when they close down. So. I went in. I, 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 I just I bought them. I it was capacitors and it was yeah. like, how much is it? And it was like, you know, it was, it was something like 30 pence. Mm -hmm. like, there's four left. It's like, <laughs> just take them <laughs> why not why not yeah what else was it I, I so, to, I've been looking at this guitar over here which I want to show ah Just right like, okay <laughs> <laughs> I can't say they're not all shite <laughs> just, shite guitar is one that doesn't work <laughs> look at that washburn wing really? <laughs> which is a hamer hamer with their I remember their guitar called a slammer the hammer slammer Ooh. so they're not hammer because hammer slammer would sound too good that is weird I actually yeah. snobbery Derek Vaughn's slammer there's a guy called Derek Vaughn on YouTube he, he does stuff about prog rock alright but I like prog rock. It, and he has a collection of guitars but every time he wants to demonstrate something picks up the slammer that's his that's right. his go to guitar right I mean he's got it's, Gibsons and Ibanez yeah, it's like, a slammer or sort of is it like a, it's a super strategy type thing no slammer well slammer is just the uh, where they write the book, it's just slammer by him. Uh, oh, all, oh, it's all, like, it's like an Epiphone McGibson think, type thing. Yeah, I think all their body shapes are. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, he's got like similar thing to that. Yeah, like, no, I, mean, I, I, I this was when I was first buying mm. a guitar, I thought this was one, these were kicking about, and I also thought mm. it was one of the best looking yeah, like, guitars. Um, I, 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 it's, it's I, think, I think it's that what, idea it's like, if it looks right, it'll go right. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's <laughs> so similar to the mm. the eighty three onwards. Um, yeah, so that's Washburn wings so that's with it. the flat top, even with the three knobs mm -hmm. and the switch here. It's like that. The, the yeah. Washburns weren't original, that, but they went like this. Yeah. So I don't know how much of a copy it was. 
I think that's the Indonesian one from like 2016. Is it 16 or 17? 18. Is it 18? Is that spanking new? I've only got one guitar newer than this. <laughs> yeah, so they've been reissued again. But I think it's like, just, I like, oh, it's a slightly interesting bridge, just a wee bit different, a wee bit. Well, I think that's a that's a recreation of the original Hamer Bridge. Is it and right? I think what they've tried to do is do more or less a replica. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I wanted at some point to get an Indonesian one, a Chinese one, a Korean one, an American one, and just have them all together. And then there must have been a Japanese one. Huh? Oh, there might have been actually. Yeah, but, about yeah. the 80s, you would have thought. Yeah. Uh, but the guy that did it as a guy called Jonathan Lee. He was uh, produ- in charge of production for Washburn and Hamer around that era. Right. And I, I was going on YouTube, as you do, and some of the comments about him, and they were just like, he's a Chinese salesman. And he's not. He's like, he's a luthier, and he's uh, and he knows what he's doing, and he's gone back to his old company, which is Walden. I don't know if you've come across them. I do. I recognise the name, Walden. Uh, weirdly enough, I found a Walden in a, in a cash generators. Had a wee play of it. Somebody had obviously tried to take the action done down by doing the nut. Right. I couldn't really judge. <laughs> yeah. No. That's the, the problem with the cash generators, though, isn't it? Mm. They, don't, they don't. They've got no. If you if you're buying something pure obscure mm-hmm. and you've got a chance, you might get quite a good yeah. one. But they, yeah. they, they, nobody. They, there's not a guitar shop. They don't play the guitar, so they don't know there's yeah. something not right with it. They, they just they just look, look up look up eBay, see what they've put the last one well, sold for, and put it for that. What yeah. I, what I would say is the cash converters in Paisley. I think it's 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 obviously a franchise, but I yeah. think the people in, in there do seem to know exactly what it's worth now, which which is a pity. Possibly, <laughs> yes, I know, I know it's difficult. I don't know. It's actually some of them. Was it, you, no, you said it was a Jim Deacon. There was a Jim Deacon. One hundred and twenty quid, so it's all covered in stickers and stuff. Yeah. I don't get that. The stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll have to show you the pictures of that when it's been when, when seriously I, sticker bombed. Yeah. People do that. I, I wish my guitar wasn't a strat. It's like I'm um, <laughs> um, I want to play Metallica. I don't want a red Hank Marvin strat. <laughs> so I'll just cover it in stickers that I got in Kerrang. I don't. Uh, yeah. Uh, I know. I'm so many. The thing is with the stickers as well. The guitar is generally obviously this is they've yeah. been not been played for ten years <laughs> and it's minging. So these stickers are all. Brown and you're like, oh, and I'd literally, I'd, I, I could, uh, was it one of the Bucky casts? It was an Iron Brew caster, it was blue, and it had wee smiley face stickers. Mm. Like, someone had obviously got them cheap, and they'd managed to do the entire guitar and the back of the neck with stickers, you know, the, smaller than a 5p. Not, not a piece, not a piece of uh, wood or colour showing through. They, it must have taken so long. Mm. And obviously they must have got them and I don't know maybe their dad worked at a sticker factory and they got them free but it was all these wee smiley and yeah. it was different smi- smiley and frowny yeah. and oh, emoji stickers they managed to cover the entire guitar and stickers that were so I mean it just yeah effort. I basically I, I had that I just put that in a, I just heated up the the sink in the yeah. kitchen full of hot water yeah. very liquid <laughs> and just and then they've just kind of dissolved well that's thing that I found is good for getting them off is Purell, the hand sanitizer. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I, 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 I just got it annoys me so much that people put stickers on guitars. <laughs> I, I, I no, I don't. I'm, I, I'm trying to think if I've ever put a sticker on a guitar. Not really. I put bucket yeah. labels on the top of the bucket casters. That doesn't count though. Yeah, I'm struggling to remember. I don't think I ever have. No. Even um, as a. Oh. I do, have, I, do have a, I do have a Satanic Majesty's Request sticker yeah. on my um, SG. Weirdly enough, I did have a Vox Clubman. I think I've t- told you about this. And it was white. And I put like red, yellow and green insulating tape oh, on right. it yeah. to, to make it reggae. Nice, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. But nice. Then, then I sanded it and made a complete arse of it and uh, sold it for more than I bought it for, which was £19. And I bought it for 15 and I've seen them on reverb for three hundred and twenty-five. And if you've got three hundred and twenty-five pound to spend on a box club, then you've got far too much money. It's mm. a piece of junk. Yeah, but <laughs> if you're gonna hang it on the wall anyway. Yeah. And so it's, uh, I don't know. I still, I still think there's, there's a lot, a lot, of, a lot mm. of people don't play guitar but have guitars. Yeah. So in that case, mm. yeah, I think it's, 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 it's PRSs and stuff. And just hang them on the wall. Just hang on the wall. And it's like maybe one of their <laughs> friends plays the guitar, and they maybe come round once or twice yeah. a year. And, oh, they'll, they'll be able to play it at Christmas. And you're like, well, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, it's always your. 
buy a PRS copy. Yeah. Do you have a... <laughs> Swap again. Not as nice as that already. But it's actually quite similar, really, when you look at it. I mean, this actually feels very like my wee area PE. Something to do, maybe just because it's a carved top. I mean, this, that's, a, that's a, 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 a fancier than usual looking bridge. That's not, got, the, that's got, not the Wilkinson, that's that's before the Wilkinson. Because correct. Of, oh, right, so you went straight for the oh, oil so. split. Oh, yeah. Right. And, and oh, my, well, this, this is the thing. So I know my way about these things. The later ones don't have it. Don't they? Yeah. I don't know about it. A, wet, a vintage, all yeah. right. Vintage are good. Yes, <laughs> cheeky. Yeah, to, to, that's to me. That's that. <laughs> is that that's that's not somebody somebody's elbows. Or no, I think so. I never. It's, 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 got, it's, got, it's got a. It's got a. It's, it's, it's that. It's that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just it depends. Yeah. But. Yeah. Either you, what the music you like is, I think, whether you actually like the look of the actual oh, PRS from either or not, it's, it's yeah. too in the middle. I'll t- I tell you why I bought it. I was I have another Hamer XT, which has the like standard Les Paul style bridge, and yeah. I thought I was going to put on one of those, I've forgotten what they're called, the little cremes. Jusenberg. Oh, the Juice by the, the Les Trem. Yeah, and I was going to put one of them on before Brexit, and they were yeah. £67. Right. And then after Brexit, they were like 104 Right. And I, right. Bought, I bought that guitar for 110 I thought, I'm going to get a guitar. It's yes. And interestingly, the guy that I bought that off, he dabbles in strats and tellies as well. And, mm-hmm. and he says, it's just not my thing. But I think he may have actually done the cover on the back, because that looks as though that's been made again. So. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's actually it's recessed. Yeah, that's quite. I mean, that's a, that costs money to recess these things. Mm. Normally, it's just. Oh, I think maybe that was missing in his maybe yeah. another one. So. <coughs> or his modified one too. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. But it's just, but it's the twenty-four fret coil split. Yeah, yeah, cost, a custom it's twenty-four a, copy. A lot of guitar for just over a hundred quid. But yeah, and as I say, <laughs> just just the same price as putting. A Jusenberg trim on any of your other guitars. It just takes up more space. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's all things like what happens if you don't really fancy it, you don't really like the trim. Well, you've not just put it on your guitar yeah. either, so you've still got the old guitar. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I, 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 I yeah. agree. Uh, well, I, I think it'd be easier to sell that than it would be to sell a second hand trim. Yeah. Actually, do, do you want a Floyd Rose FRX? One of my pals is trying to get rid of one of them. No. <laughs> No, no, no. That's the, that's the Floyd Rose that fits on a Gibson. Yeah, but you still have to play about with the, the nut. You still have to mm-hmm. put on locking. Mm-hmm. All right. No, well, it, it basically, right. it sits in, t- it's got the, the locking clamp, but it yeah. sits entirely behind the Gibson nut. All right. And, but, it, but it's kind of curved over. I mean, it's yeah. really clever the way it's done. If you've got the right guitar to yeah. fit it to, it just fits on and it's, it's basically, it's like the trust, it just screws in yeah. where the trust rod cover was. Yeah. And, but I mean, no, I don't, I don't, <laughs> It's, it's the same thing yeah. with what you're saying there's like, yeah. you know, do you want a Floyd Rose on your SG and it's like well I've got I'd rather yeah. have like an Ibanez RG that's got a Floyd yeah. Rose on it yeah. for the same price as the Floyd Rose oh that break how long how many minutes are we oh, 53 bits, 53 <laughs> Aye, wait till it runs out right well, we've, you've got a list of things to do yeah he's planning it I this pl- one's got a scripted it, yeah. video <laughs> I've scripted video apart from that one time I tried to do a script in a bit of a tenth video and I realised actually Fuck the script because I can never remember what it is anyway. I'll just oh, stuff and make it I, I know what came to me. The, the, the super expensive replica guitars. The, the super, the super the, expensive the, replica the guitars. The Gilmore Blackstrap. Yeah. Why? I mean, that is the. That really is the more money than sense thing. Because the thing I thought about that, not only I think the one that he bought what had been a Sunburst one painted black. Not the original one, no. It was a very rare black. Was it no, black? Only no, because Scott's got one. Right. Because the, the custom the, did, the black black ones were very rare. They spent four and a half grand on it. Did it has this from nineteen sixty nine. Oh, it's a real one. Yeah. Cool. So I don't. Yeah. I, I, to be honest, I don't, he's never told me. I, he, I don't think he spent that much. But I mean, if you look up yeah. a sixty a sixty nine one, they go for yeah. like fifteen grand. But one of, he's got one of them. But if you see how much has been done to that. It's like how many modifications have ah, been done. It's not the original oh, neck. The oh, neck's oh. been replaced three times. Yeah, <laughs> trickers broom. Yeah, yes, well, exactly. I, yeah. That's the thing I say about like I've I don't know how many are in here. I've had eleven or twelve, and at least 
six will have had something done to them. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but all of them <laughs> it's, it's not like people do this and as I say like that was bought off somebody who dabbled that was bought off somebody who dabbled that was bought off yeah and, a, and, and that was a rejected project by somebody uh, so lots of people do it uh, varying degrees of success yes uh, it's just, it's just, it's, it, 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 it does devalue the guitar so. yeah oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, that, we're but, talking, talking about Scotsman Scotsman's yeah. got an Ibanez Spoiler yeah. Rose on it right it's a 1969 uh, ah, right. Fender which is its serial yeah. number sits between Hendrix's black <sighs> one and Dave Gilmore's one and he bought it with a, an Ibanez Floyd Rose fitted right. on it and three humbuckers Right, so but, but if it had been one to do, it was if it'd be <laughs> no, but it's, it's that, that whole thing. It's worth money. You go, yeah. up, but, but those things are worth like twenty grand. So yeah. It wasn't then. Yeah, back then that strap would cost less than buying. Well, well that's the thing. Was, was it, I'll, I'll get back to the Gilmore thing because that had a collar put in it. Yeah, and you go like, well, when you get a replica one, do they chisel out a chunk of wood? And then put in another chunk of wood. Oh, that's what it comes in. That's what, it's, that's what it is as well. I mean, look, look at the yeah. look at the Tony Iommi one. Right. They were ten. They were ten, ten. Yeah. They were ten grand, and yeah. basically, his guitar was an SG Special, a nineteen sixty, yeah. whatever it was, yeah. SG Special. You can buy an an actual nineteen sixty nine mm-hmm. SG Special for about fifteen hundred two grand. Yeah. But it's not one of the desirable ones, and but you can it's buy. The same thing. You, but it's, 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 I know it's yeah. the same as Tony Iommi's yeah, guitar. Yeah. It's not the same as somebody who's built it now yeah. and then scratched it and dented it to make it look the same yeah. and then, you know, <laughs> filled the original drill post holes yeah. and then put the, the the badass on it and then yeah. it's like... I think it's just the, the idea that somebody's cutting out a bit of wood and putting another bit of wood back in. You, you are so far down the rabbit hole there. But it's, I think it comes into, the, you know, your what a guitar's worth. Yeah, I want a guitar that plays really well and sounds mm-hmm. good. Yeah, but that's not but that's not what it is. That, that, that yeah. that's not why a Gibson Les Paul costs two and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. A Gibson Les Paul costs two and a half thousand pounds because Something will pay some, someone else will buy that yeah. off you. Yeah, and yeah, you, you, if, you, if you you could up here, you're insane buying that Tony yeah. Iommi guitar for ten grand. Ah, I kept it for two years and sold it for fifteen. Yeah. So look, look, that's that's more so money than I make yeah. selling fifty guitars. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm. I think I actually bought a Fender banjo, no, which right. is exactly the same as I think it's a Samick actually. But no. if it said Samick on it, I could sell it again. I haven't said that. I've still got it after twenty odd years. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when it comes in. That's what yeah. the, that's what the, the, the things like that Jim, Jim Deacon is. Yeah. It's different. It's, it's not. It's the same. It's in the same mm-hmm. category as your Cheetah and your mm-hmm. Tanglewood. Yeah. But it's not because it's a good guitar. Yeah. And it's yeah. like eventually that'll. <laughs> well, you look at them. You're talking about the Behringer pedal. See that guy JHS pedals. He did a video yes, a couple of years ago yeah. called "What's the Deal with Behringer?" Yeah, and he was talking about the Super Fuzz pedal. Yeah, and he was like, "That's ah, fucking exactly. It's, true. it's yeah. exactly the same as a real Super Fuzz." Yeah. And then what did I do after that? Oh, we look on eBay. None Behringer pedals. Yes, there was none Behringer <laughs> pedals on eBay after that. And then suddenly yeah. they're all back now. Oh, they're down. And then, I'll put down. Then the tremolo. Tremolo, I don't, I just, I, I, I actually haven't found a use for tremolo. Actually, I saw it. I, I keep, I, I forgot. I keep kicking that. It's symbol of my city. I keep kicking that wee the Behringer multi effects thing on it. Yeah. I can't. It doesn't have reverb on it, which I'm really annoyed about. I, I, I yeah. Did you like it? Did you find it any, any use? I got it cheap. I saw that. Was a, I, the power supply came with it. I thought, well, it'd be a tenner for the power supply anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. So you paid the same as me. You paid a five for yeah. I don't know what to do with it. So I went. I, I don't know. I just. I just it's like knob overloads when there's too many things to fidget with it's just like uh, so I mean, even, uh, that's a good name for a band yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll not be joining that one then <laughs> what, was what was the thing that was written there a guitar I was like I was like um, you know you get it's very cool you get this yeah. the fake Fender and yes. people put Fender jizz bass right. there's a sticker you can buy those stickers you see, you see it quite a lot on parts cast and stuff. I was like I don't want that written on my guitar no, I don't mind having something <laughs> funny written. I don't want jizz. That's horrible. Isn't it? Yeah, I, 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 no, no. I mean, call it. I don't know. It's something else. Or, you know, you know. The you know the Bender Strato Blaster. Or, you know, you get all that. I, I, I quite like the funny ones. But, yeah. yeah, but it's the people that try to fake the things. Are just... I, I, I've never, I've never yeah. understood. That. Oh. Unless, unless, unless you're a bit, but the thing is, most, most people aren't. Okay, yeah. I understand the 
I want to try and rip someone off by mm-hmm. selling them this Fender Squire mm-hmm. and I'm going to change the logo to Fender and I'm going to charge them twice what the Squire costs, mm-hmm. which is half what the Fender should cost. And I'll play on <laughs> their greed because they're going, oh, this idiot's selling us a, 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 a real Fender American Strat. Look, it's got custom shop on it for only 700 quid. I'm going to go there and steal it. Ha ha ha. I understand that. In an evil way, I would never do it. But I don't understand yeah. people who just like the idea. No, it's just for me, which a lot of people do. Yeah. You know, you've got your, you know, that guitar there. Oh, a lot of people would build that up and go, it's really nice. I'll put a Fender logo on it. Yeah. I don't understand why you would do that. No, I'll leave it blank. In fact, I think. Okay. Well, yeah, one of the things I did was, uh, I think it, was, it wasn't that one because that's a new neck. Was, uh, I took the, the writing off, but I used oven cleaner and then I found some acetone. So. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't mind. I, I, don't, I like selling something, but I just like the blank. It's just a blank. Yeah. So no, I, I don't. I don't. I don't generally tend to leave them blank. I have actually yeah. got a a West Tone base which I still need to fix. Mm. I get pissed off with it. Painted it yellow, and mm. I was like, "Pure yellow headstock." I was eating a banana. Oh, Fife's banana sticker. <laughs> Bang! Perfect. <laughs> yellow. That that kind of thing, I can go for. You know. Now we yeah. said talk about putting stickers on guitars. Yeah. So I'm not completely adverse to putting yeah. stickers on guitars. But it's got to be a funny one. No, awesome. Right, I think we've been on right. for an hour, and I think we're. Yeah. So this is Andy, that neon tetrahedron. And now, you, now you know. And now yeah. you know what he looks like, yeah. so you can avoid him in the street and don't sell him <laughs> things. Like this man comes around and offers you a ten, and I'll give you twelve pounds, <laughs> and I'll put you in a video. There you go. Catch <laughs> you later.